One of the things we can do while examining the slit lamp is to go to this part and unlock the column of the light. Normally when this part is locked you see that the light and the microscope come to the same focus as in here. You cannot change but if you unscrew this you can throw the light to the right or the left of the point of fixation. So dealing with this knob you can make the microscope focus in one location and then change the light to the side of the point of focus. This is known as indirect illumination. For example in this image light is coming directly here and in this picture light is thrown to the side. You notice here that you get here some ring with dots in not visible here. This both are the same patient. It's an image of keratoprothesis. This is the central part that cut through the whole cornea. This is the lens part and this is the lamella where the keratoprothesis is fixed in the stroma. So if you get the light to the side while you are focusing in this area you will see more details than having the light focused on the same light at the microscope. Retroillumination it means that you are going to illuminate something behind and then examine something anterior. As here you can see this young lady as a silhouette against the illuminated background. This is the case of a keratoplasty and you can see the continuous thread and you can see this lower part is clear while the upper part is full of dots and this is the line of demarcation. This is the rejection line between the area with full of KPs and the area intact, no KPs. So this is seen against the red reflex and this is a retroillumination. This is the papillary area. You can see here the edge of the lens and you can see some black spots on the back of the lens or in the vitreous cavity. Again, a retroillumination showing rarefied iris. You can see the iris here is less pigmented or not pigmented at all. So you could see the red reflex. And again, this is the red reflex. You can see these water droplets and the crystalline lens indicating early cataract. So retroillumination means that you illuminate something behind to see something in front. If you put the light to the iris and start to examine the cornea, again, this is a retroillumination. As you can see here, this is the section in the cornea we are not examining here we are examining this part of the cornea and you can see some lines crisscrossing each other so these lesions in the cornea that we see against the illumination coming from behind we call this a direct retroillumination you need notice also that we can see here some lines Again, it's darkness. This is indirect retroillumination. So, if you examine against the light, it's a direct retroillumination. If you examine the lesion against black, this is an indirect retroillumination. The same you can notice here. These cases of these lines, again, it's light coming from the iris. This is a direct retroillumination. And these dots and short parts of the lines here against blackness, this is indirect retroillumination. Again, you can see some lesions here against the iris and some lesions here against the pupil. The point is, keep in mind, not always looking at the section, but keep looking at the sides as well. And also don't keep the microscope and light focus on the same point you can unlock this coaptation and throw the light to either side of the focus of the microscope this will help you to see things in a better way again you can see some dots here and here 
and in the section you can tell they are on the back surface of the cornea it's a large size keratic precipitates you can see them in a section you can, can see them against illumination of the iris and against black part here this is the pupillary area the lens is cataractus light is directed to the center and here light was unlocked and was directed to the side so it's illuminating the back part of the lens and against the illumination from behind we could see this intra lenticular foreign body which was not apparent here but it becomes apparent in this picture 